All right, guys, today's move is called the hip swivel. It's a great move that you can use in a live ball, triple threat, or mid post situations, and you can also use it as a ball screen approach setup. A lot of coaches and players want to know what to do when defenses pressure you, and this is the move that you got to do. Let's check out each situation that it's used in most often. So many times we're in a triple threat situation, we have space. So we're able to face the basket and kind of play with the ball in front of us. But if a defender presses us or jams our hips, what we have to do is we have to get in a closed stance position. So what I like to do is I like to rip the ball through and get to right here where I can keep my chin attached to my shoulder so I keep vision downhill so I can still be aggressive and make a play. And I don't turn my back right here and kind of shy away from the pressure. So again, I'm comfortable right now. Defense pressures me. Immediately rip the ball so that I have a ball, you, man relationship. And I keep my closed stance position so that ultimately the defender's right here and can't get a hand on the ball. When the defender pressures us right here, they're going to start to lean on us because they're trying to really make us feel uncomfortable. All we're going to do is we're going to pound the ball back here. We don't want to pound it right here where they can get a tap on it. We want to pound it back here and then we're going to swivel our feet. What this is going to do is it's going to basically make them fall forward and then we're going to be able to attack downhill and make a play at the rim. Again, you saw that my hand was under the ball in slow motion. I went here to here. What you're going to have to do in a game is you're going to have to pound the ball back like this so that you keep your hand over top the ball. So if I'm here, I feel comfortable, they pressure us, boom, maybe I take a second, I pound, open. Notice pound, get that ball back and then I make a play downhill. One time, kind of all the way through, I'm here, I open up, boom, pound, open, and then I would attack and make a play. Now you might ask, what happens if the defense doesn't fall forward? We've got a counter move. Anytime you have a great move, you have to make sure you have a counter move as well. So if we're right here, and we rip the ball through, and when we pound dribble the ball and change our stance, the defense says, nope, I'm not letting them go middle. All we're going to do is cross the ball over and beat them in the opposite direction. So that would look like this. I'm here, boom, rip, comfortable, pound, boom, quick, and then I would attack and make a play downhill, or maybe make a play to space. That's how you use it out of the triple threat. The exact same reads can occur down here in the mid post for you big fellas or guards that like to play down low if you have maybe a smaller player on you. So if I'm right here, and again, now I'm more in a back to the basket situation, I can do a couple different things. Obviously, we've got the same two reads. We've got pound, open, and then attack, where we're getting maybe a hook or just a finish at the rim. We've got an attack, boom, quick crossover into a pull up or a fadeaway. And then we've got two additional moves in the mid post because we're closer. We've got pound, boom, has he pull up? You see Carmelo Anthony do that all the time where he nudges the post player right here, the guy guarding him, boom, open up, trigger step. What he's doing is he's selling that he's gonna downhill drive and then pulls up. And you've also got a side step, pound, boom, to the side. Now again, some of those might be called at the high school level if you don't do them quick enough. So make sure that you pound the ball, and then quickly push out and keep your hand over top of the ball until you pick it up for your shot or boom, keep it over top of the ball so you can make a play at the rim. The last situation that I'm going to show you today is in a live ball situation. So what happens if we're dribbling the ball and now our defender pressures us? What we're going to do is simply get in a closed stance, pound dribble the ball and do the exact same things. So I'm here, boom, boom, get in this stance, then pound open and go or I've got my pound cross where it's pound, boom, quick, and knock down. Now I want to show you what happens when the defender is here so that you can see the reads. So let me bring a defender out here. Zach's going to help me out. Zach's making me feel comfortable right now. This is how a lot of defense plays in the game. Now when he pressures me, boom, I get in this closed stance. Notice my chin is on my shoulder so I can see over his shoulder. If I pound dribble right here, he's leaning on me, boom. Notice right here, I'm going to try to almost push his arm off. This is legal, okay? So you just swipe it down and then get downhill. Let's walk through that one one more time. I'm here, I'm comfortable, boom. Close stance, pound, boom, right there. And then I'd make a play at the rim. If Zach doesn't fall for that, maybe Zach isn't pressuring me as much as I think, and so he ends up taking away my middle. A lot of coaches stress no middle drives. So I'm here, he forces me there. He's gonna take away middle, so I pound. Again, look at my stance. I swiveled my feet, notice where this hand is. We're gonna have to have a low crossover right there and then we'd attack downhill and make a play. One more time on the hip swivel crossover. I'm here, boom, getting that quick crossover and make a play. Now let's go through the four mid post reads. Zach's downhill right here. I catch the ball. 
Again, I can see that I can get middle right now, but instead of just doing this, where if he bumps me, I go up the line and have to shoot a bad shot, what I want to do is change my angle, get my hip square to the rim. So I bump him, boom, open. Now I can attack downhill or shoot the running hook. Whatever your move is, whatever your finishing technique is, you can do it because you're by him. If he cuts you off, this one's not recommended because a lot of big guys can't handle the ball as well. And a lot of times in the post, they're closer and more physical. But if he, for whatever reason, drops and gives you room to cross the ball over, we would bump, boom, quick cross, and then quick finish at the rim. If he drops back, so say you use your shoulder, you're stronger than him. You bump him right here, boom. Then you can, has he pull up? Or if he's longer and taller, and you think he might be able to contest and make a play, and he's up tight on you, you bump him back, boom. You separate out, and then you create a little more space so that you can get your shot off. The final thing that we talked about was out here live ball. Again, he has room right here. We're comfortable. He comes to pressure us, boom. Close stance. Now we pound dribble, open up. Same as Zach Reed, we'd go finish at the rim. Or the last situation, again, we're comfortable. He pressures, close stance, boom. Quick crossover, we get downhill and make a play. Great move to handle pressure. Make sure you work on all the options so that you master it. Thanks for watching. If you want